The Autobiography of C.H. Spurgeon, Chapter 13, Part 2. May the 11th. Went round my district. I trust the Lord is moving upon the face of this people. It is thy work, O Lord. Accomplish it. I feel encouraged to go on in the ways of the Lord, and still to spend my spare time in his service. Prosper thou the work of my hands. My own soul is encouraged. My life is revived, and I hope soon to enjoy the presence of the Lord. May 12th. One of the days of the Son of Man, happy day when Sabbath shall never end. Went to Sunday school at 9, stayed till service at 10.30, out at 12.15, Sunday school at 1.45, service 3 to 4, visiting till 5. The day has been closely occupied. The morning discourse was upon 1 Corinthians 4.7. Truly I have nothing which I have not received. I can boast of no inheritance, right, inherent righteousness. Had the Lord not chosen me, I should not have chosen him. Grace, grace, grace. Till all of grace, I can do nothing. I am less than nothing. Yet what a difference. Once a slave of hell, now the son of the God of heaven. Help me to walk worthy of my lofty and exalted vocation. Afternoon, Psalms 48, verse 14. This God is my God forever and ever. He will be my guide even unto death. I can wish for no better guide or a more lasting friend. He shall lead me in his own way. Lord, permit me not to choose the world. Road, allow me not to wander into bypath metals. Rather, carry me straight to glory. Evening, Acts chapter 17, verse 11. The word of God is my chart. Lord, give me more of uh, beren nobility. Grant me thy grace to search the scriptures and to become wise unto life eternal. Thine is the gift, I cannot do it without thee. Again, would I give myself anew to thee, bind thou the sacrifice with cords, even to the horns of thine altar. Let me not go away with, from thee. Hold me firmly in thy gracious arms. Let thine omnipotency be my protection. Thy wisdom, my direction. Thy grace, my salvation. Lord, I believe, help thou my unbelief. May 13th, a day of great unmerited mercy. Happiness cannot exist here without some coy. How sweet the joys of religion, of communion with God. Letter from home. All well. I thank thee, Father, for such good tidings. Bless me, even me also, O my Father. I would devote myself to thee. It is my highest privilege to be able to give myself to thee. Thy service is the greatest pleasure, the most untiring delight. I would, more than ever, wear thy liber livery, be known as thy servant, and become one of thy peculiar people. May 14th, in the evening, enjoyed an ecstasy of delight. I seemed transported and able to fly beyond the bounds of this poor atom of an earth. Spiritual realities were present to view, while the flesh, like Abraham's servant, tarried at the foot of the mountain. How much do I owe? How little good do I deserve? Yea, none at all. Let thy grace, Lord, like a feather, bind my wandering heart to thee. Blessed be thy name forever. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Follow hard after him, love, and serve him. May 15th. How feeble I am. I am not able to keep myself near to God. I am compelled to acknowledge my own deadness. I confess how greatly I have strayed from thee, thou great fountain of living waters. But, since I have not forgotten thy law, restore thy wandering sheep. Revive me in the midst of the years, and make thy face to shine upon me. How much do I deserve eternal damnation? But salvation is not of desert, but of free grace. This is the plank whereon I hope to float to glory, when this world shall be a wreck and perish in the vast abyss. May 16th, went to chapel. So sermon on Psalms 23, verse 3. How much do I need this restoration? If the Lord does not do it, I cannot. Turn out thine enemy and mine. I would be passive, submitting to thy sovereign will. Thou wilt do what is right. Lord, keep me. I will wait thy time on revival. Teach me both to work and wait, expecting and hoping that thou wilt soon come and restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. I am in a low condition, yet I am eternally safe. He will lead me. May 17th. It is now a fortnight since my baptism. How solemnly have I devoted myself to thee. 
I would now repeat my vows and again solemnly devote myself to thee. Witness ye men and angels now, if I forsake the Lord. In my strength I can do all things. Thou hast sworn to save, and death and hell cannot dwarf thine everlasting purpose. Hold me. Thou hast blessed me, thou alone canst do it. If thou didst not save, I must perish. Thou wilt not leave me. Thou hast showed me a portion of the glory of thy face. May 18th, Station District. When I first set out, I was all but done concerning spiritual things. Soon I felt the working of the Lord in some degree. Blessed be his holy name forever and ever. And let all the redeemed say, Amen. His is the power, beloved. Thine is enduring beauty. Thou art glorious to behold. Give me more of the entrancing visions of thy face, the looks of thy love, and more constant communion with thee. Lord, move thou upon the earth, and bring in thine elect from among the condemned sinners of the world. May 19th. Went to Sunday school. Mr. S. preached this morning from 2 Corinthians 3, verses 6 and 8. How glorious is the ministration of life! How beautiful the tables of stone, when enclosed in the blessed Ark of the Covenant! Afternoon, Ezekiel 36, verse 27. Evening, what is truth? As to interest, the sermons today have been a failure. Address the children upon prayer. When visiting with Mr. M., six fresh children. Evening at Mr. B.'s. Engaged in prayer at his family altar. Today has been a sunny day for me. The Lord has visited me from on high. Rejoice, O my soul. Leap for joy. Renew thy strength. Run, run, in the name of the Lord. He is with me. He has been with me. Weakness, he has made strength. Mighty to save, thou shalt have all my noblest songs. Let thy grace constrain me to love thee and live for thee. I am buried with my Lord and Savior. May I be crucified to the world and die daily. How sure is it that thy yoke is easy and thy burden is light. I can do all things through Christ Jesus. May 20th, went to the prayer meeting and engaged in prayer. How inexhaustible is the source from whence my life proceeds. How boundless is the store from whence my provisions comes. I must be saved, for omnipotency has undertaken it. Another glorious day, another visit of his reviving grace. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The service of the Lord were a happy service, even if such enjoyment as this was the only reward. How sweet are the visits of his grace, sweeter than honey and the honeycomb. May 21st, glorious day. Happy were all like this. Oh, the safety of a Christian is sure, but not so blessed as the sa any saint in heaven. Lord, how can I leave thee? To whom or whither shall I go? Thou center of my love, my glorious names in one. Thou brightest, sweetest, fairest one that eyes have seen or angels known. I trust in, to thee for salvation. Without thee I can do nothing. I am utter weakness. Thou must do it all, or I shall perish. Love of loves, all love excelling. Fix my wondering heart on thee. May 22nd. My weakness is my greatest strength, for then I trust alone on Jesus when I feel my own dependency. I am an earthy, earthen vessel. I have been among the pots of the unregenerate. Make me now a vessel for thy use. Thy blood is my trust. I am washed. Who shall now blacken me as so as not to leave me spotless at the last? Joy, joy unspeakable, rapture divine. I fly beyond the bounds of earth. My husband folds me in his arms. I am his, and he is mine. My glorious prince, redeemer love. May 23rd. Went to chapel. Very few there. He restoreth my soul. The same subject again. How true is this? How has he revived me? Short but glorious are the days of my refreshing, worthy of years of sorrow and distress. O oh, my beloved, did my way lie over the embers of hell all my day? Didst thou but show thyself? I would rush through the fire to meet thee. I have not been quite so ecstatic as for some days past. I am the Lord's forever. How much do I owe to him, my advocate, brother, husband? Let not my first love chill and grow cold. Keep me and preserve in thy hands. May 24th, a day of undeserved joy. I am not altogether banished from the presence of the Lord. Though he slay me, I cannot but trust him, since I have had such tokens of his love. Lord, when in darkness and distress, when my head is bowed down, 
then return unto thy servant to encourage and support him. Forever, O oh, forever, lash to the ark, and save from the floods, I shall get at last upon thee terra firma of glory. O oh, let me not dishonor thee, never may I be, bring a disgrace upon the cause of Christ. Keep me, and I shall be infinitely safe, and rest securely. May 25th, free grace, sovereign love, eternal security are my safeguards. What shall keep me from consecrating all to thee, even to the last drop of my blood? Went to my district with tracts. A woman gave me twenty-four new ones. I fear Mr. T is doing much harm by telling the people that the Lord's Supper will save them. Work, Lord, work. Thou hast encouraged me. May I not be disappointed. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The covenant is my trust. The agreement signed between my elder brother and the Almighty standeth sure. None shall pluck them out of my hand. May 26. Went round for the children. Sunday school in the morning. Mr. Ash preached from All These Things Are Against Me. Stand in the chapel the dinner time. Stayed in the chapel the dinner time. Had a sweet season of prayer and communion with God. Afternoon, Jacob's consecration of himself at Bethel. I would give myself in the same manner to thee, my best loved king. Evening subject. Paul's great labors. Oh, could I emulate such a man? I should be the greatest on this earth. May 27th. Life of my soul. Forgive me when I am so blind as to look upon any earthly object, and forget thine own divine beauties. O oh, for a love as strong as death, fierce as hell, and lasting as eternity. May 28th. Thou hast hedged me about with thorns, so that I cannot get out. This is my comfort. What name can I devise for thee, O beloved, equal to thy desert? Equal to thy desert. All beauties joined in one perfection. Thou art all fair, my love. There is no spot in thee. Thou didst die for me, and shall not I live for thee? What a love is that of Jesus to me, surpassing knowledge. I can do nothing in return but give thee my worthless self. What, shall I dare to doubt thy love? Can I conceive that thou wilt leave me? Yes, I may sin so as to distrust thee, but thou wilt never let me go. No thief can steal away that thy precious purchase. Never, never can I be lost. Redeemed and purchased, then how can I be snatched away? How is my soul a battlefield between the corruptions of nature and the principle of grace? They tear up the earth of my soul with the trampling of their armies, but I cannot be destroyed. May 29th. To the Lord belongeth strength. He has given me my portion. He putteth his treasure in earthen vessels. How happy am I to be one of his chosen, his elect, in whom his soul delighteth. But I do not live up to my heavenly calling. I could not at all without the Lord. He has helped. He will help. This is my comfort. His everlasting promises are my rest, my bread, my support. Make me thy faithful servant, O my God. May I honor thee in my day and generation, and be consecrated forever to thy service. May 30th, the stormy commotion has somewhat passed away. The sun is still shining, though a cloud may pass between. I desire more constant communion with God. Went to church meeting, had a bit nice, some nice cheering conversation with old Mrs. A. Two candidates proposed. We shall have no ordinate, no ordinates, ordinance next Sunday. The Lord can and will feed us without it. He has kept me, and he will. The strife in my soul is now hushed. Peace returns as a river upon the dry places. May 31st. Weakness as am I in every point. I cannot keep myself to the least. Forgive me that I have tried it. I would now come naked, stripped, exhausted, dead. I would cry, lash me tighter, firmer, to thy free grace raft of life. Mercy is all I ask for, continued mercy. Those whom he once loves, he loves to the end. He has once loved me, I am now secure. May the live coal within be shown to the world by the burning flames of love to thee. May that love burn up the stubble and sin. June 1st, a new month. Time soon glides away. How much more ought I to do this month than last? Desire of my heart, keep me nearer to thy bosom this month. Went to South District, talked with a woman who says there are contradictions in the Bible. Some good may be doing. He that can work will work, and who shall hinder him? 
In the Lord's time it shall be accomplished. His time is best. Arise, O son of righteousness, who, why, sh why should thy people lie in darkness? June 2nd. Heard Mr. J. the first part of the day. Numbers 21, verse 4. Interesting, but rather too weak. Afternoon. Revelations 19.12 Many crowns indeed does my Lord deserve. Crowns of glory shall be round his sacred blessed head. Evening, 1 John 5.4 Strong meat, the Lord has sent manna down this evening, overcometh the world. Gracious victory, amazing conquest, triumph divine. And shall I, with such a promise, dare to doubt the power of God to keep and guide and preserve me? Had a large class at Sunday school, gave an address upon death, the dreadful sword hanging by a single hair above the head of the ungodly. Had tea at Mr. B's and come batted with him for what I consider the form of sound words. Prayer meeting after evening service. Seven present, six of us engaged in. Prayer. Bless the Sunday school, great king. Honor thy master, O my soul. Live for him, live in him. I am a prince, ought I not to be a good soldier and fight for my Lord? Give me, lend me a sword, O God, and strength to weld it. Let my foes and thine be as furious as lions. Thy sword shall destroy them. June 3rd, prayer meeting, engaged in prayer. Lord, when shall thy set time to favor Zion come? When shall thine elect be gathered in? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Forever, yes, forever safe. Rejoice, rejoice, O my soul, and let thy joy constrain thee to work more earnestly and more zealously for him. Redeemed and purchased, I am not my own. Letter from Grandfather. How glad I am he does not differ. June 4th. I have had evidence this day of the changeableness of all mortal things. How little does it matter to me so that my eternal inheritance is secure. Lord, help me now to mount my watchtower against pride and sloth. Keep me always upon the lookout, lest an enemy should come unawares. Forgive me if I have ever had high thoughts of myself. Thou makest me to feel my weakness in every part. May I now trust and rely upon the arm of omnipotence and the mercies of the Lord. Give strength, Lord, strength. June 5th. Awake, my soul. Record the mercies of the Lord. He justly claims a song from me, his loving kindnesses. Oh, how free. Mercy, I breathe another's air. I am a tenant of this earth at my master's will. Sovereign grace has kept me hitherto. Upon sovereign grace I now rely. What sweet moments have I had in answer to prayer? Blessed be the Lord for his rich mercy thus bestowed upon me. I would now live in close communion with my king and feast upon the riches of his love. June 6th, Prayer Meeting. Mr. S. spoke to us upon the Babylonian captivity. Teachers meeting after the service. What a want of spirituality and vital good godliness. O oh Lord, give me life. Increase the vital spark. Fan it to a flame. I can never perish. Yet would I keep upon my watchtower, for my enemies are many, and they hate me with cruel hatred. Help me to hate sin and pride and sloth. I live only as thou giveth me life. I have not one atom of life of my own. I must perish if thou desert me for one moment. June 7. How manifold are thy mercies towards me, O Lord, when I think of the great salvation which has been worked out for me, and remember that heaven is secure. It seems too good to be true. Yet do I now believe thy promise? May I now be entirely thine. Thy glory, my own aim. Could I but be like Paul, how honored shall I be. Happy is the man whom thou teachest, O Lord. I am happy. How can I be otherwise, since my beloved has looked upon me, and I have seen his glorious face? June 8. Could not burn with zeal as oft as I have done. When, Lord, wilt thou arise, and let thy power be known and felt. How sweet to flap my wings to heaven, with others following me. Then lay my crown beneath his feet, and call him Lord of all. He is deserving of all honor and praise, dominion and power are his due, and he shall have them. Many honors on his ever-blessed head. Worthy is the Lamb who has died for me. All glorious is my beloved. June ninth, Mr. S. preached. Acts 16.19 Did not hear to profit. Afternoon. Who is this that cometh up from the wilderness, leaning upon her beloved? Did not hear enough about the beloved. Evening. 
prepare to meet thy God. Oh, what a mercy to be prepared. So, whenever the signal is given, us from earth to call away, born on angels' wings to heaven, glad the summons to obey, we shall surely reign with Christ in endless day. Felt rather hurt by Mr. C., who does not act quite rightly, but I hereby forgive him. I desire to look alone to Jesus and regard his glory only. I am too proud. I am weak in every point. Keep me, for I have no strength. I would look up to thee, the strong, for strength. I am thine. Keep me. June 10th, letter from dear mother. Mr. S. made her his text at the prayer meeting. Engaged in prayer. Have not been able to be much in private prayer today. The joy of my Lord, however, is not gone. I can yet trust in God of my salvation. If I ever forget thee, let my right hand forget her fellow. What, has he done so much for me, and shall I ever leave him? No. While I breath, a pulse remains. I will remember thee. June the 11th. Prayer seems like labor to me. The chariot wheels drag heavily, yet they are not taken off. I will still rely upon almighty strength and helplessly throw myself into the arms of my Redeemer. Leave, ah, uh, leave me not alone. I will never leave thee. I shall yet walk the golden street of the new Jerusalem. I shall yet see his beauteous face. He loved me from the foundations of the earth before I was created or called by grace. June 12. The Lord is my helper. He shall plead my cause. I would desire to record the gratitude I feel for the sparing mercies of the Lord, but especially for His great grace in electing me by the sovereign counsel of His love to be one of His redeemed ones. What, shall I not live for Him? Shall I keep back a single particle of my heart and of myself from my charming Redeemer, my King, husband, brother, friend? No, oh, give me strength to say, I will never dishonor thee. June 13. Dangers are around me. Satan stands in the way. I have no hope but in the Lord, no safety, but in keeping straight on in the heavenly road. In the Lord, Jehovah is everlasting strength, and inexhaustible minds of eternal love are mine. The Lord reserves them for his chosen people. Went to prayer meeting, tired, tried to address my Lord in prayer. Come, my beloved, thou art ever mine. Leave me not, oh, do not forsake me, my King, my Savior, saved everlastingly. June 14th, examination. Mr. M. gave me ten shillings for the Missionary Society. I would thank the Lord for thus opening his hand to do good. Gave a missionary speech. Lord, keep thy servant low and humble at thy feet. How prone am I to pride and vainglory. Keep me always mindful that I have nothing which I have not received. Tis grace, free, sovereign grace that has made me to differ. Why should I be chosen? an elect vessel. Not that I deserve it, I am I am sure, but it is rich love. June fifteenth went round my S district and divided my stock among the poor, and now, Lord, I desire to commend them to thy keeping. Look upon them with pity. Let them not be as sheep without a shepherd. Let thy work go on and prosper among this people. I can do nothing. How it is that I have lived so long in my spiritual life. It is by sovereign power I stand, but by omnipotency I shall be supported. My grace is sufficient for thee. I trust in him. He will perfect his own work. June 16. Old Mr. W. preached. Could not hear him. He spoke so low. Was set upon by him and Mr. S. Lord, help me to take firm hold of the truth, and never yield an inch. Address the Sunday school children. Oh, may I be kept humble. Pride dwells in my heart. I am now to leave New Market, perhaps forever. What a scene of changes is this world. How bliss to have a house above the skies, eternal in the heavens. June 17th, left New Market at 6. Reached Amborne about 12. Grandfather quite well. I have had journeying um, mercies today. This life is a journey. I know that I shall one day reach the blessed end, and blitzed, unfading bliss. What can I write equal to the theme of sovereign grace? It is a miracle, a perfect miracle, that God should so love man as to die for him and to choose him before the foundation of the world. June 19th, my birthday. Sixteen years have I lived upon this earth, and yet I am only scarcely six months old. I am very young in grace, 
Yet how much time have I wasted, dead in trespasses and sins, without life, without God, in the world? What a mercy that I did not perish in my sin. How glorious is my calling. How exalted my election. Born of the Lord, regenerate. Help me more than ever to walk worthily, as becomes a saint. June 20. Truly my lot is cast in pleasant places, and I have a goodly heritage. I can love religion now in the sunshine. May I love it and prize it under all circumstances. The continuous diary thus abruptly closes, giving only the brief imitation that the dear writer goes immediately to Cambridge as usher in Mr. Leading's school. There remains but three or four fragmentary entries during the ensuing months or years, but these serve to show the young soldier still busy at his drill, loyal to his lord's colors, and always bravely fighting that good fight of faith, which ceased not till his captain called him from the battlefield to receive the victor's reward and glory. As every word of his is precious in these days, I transcribe the four succeeding paragraphs, though unable to ascertain the dates when they were written. S.S. Storms have raged around me, yet, blessed be my father's name, I have now some peace. But more the treachery calm I dread than tempest breaking overhead. Let me not be left even here. Let thy grace still flow into my heart. O Lord, my King, reign in me and be glorified by me. May it bring thee to dwell in such a bramble bush as I am, so that, though burning, I may not be consumed. Ordered in all things, and sure is the everlasting covenant of redeeming love. Forever settled and eternally complete in him is my salvation. May it be completely in myself, and may I grow up to be a man in Christ Jesus, a perfect man, prepared for the inheritance of the saints in light. Oh, that my spirituality may be revived. My matchless Emmanuel, let me see once more thy face in the temple of my heart. May I know the joy and have the faith of God's elect. May I rejoice in free and sovereign grace, saving me from the guilt and power of sin. Grace is a glorious theme above the loftiest flights of the most soaring angel or the most exalted conceptions of one of the joint heirs with Jesus. All power is God's, and all is engaged to protect and preserve me. Let me have my daily grace, peace, and comfort, zeal, and love. Give me some work, and give me strength to do it to thy glory. Heard Mr. C. of... Bumpstead. Morning. What doest thou here, Elijah? Afternoon. I am the door. Went to the prayer meeting before and after chapel, engaged in prayer, read the hymns, and addressed the children. What an honor it is to be but a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord. Oh, to be humble, and to be always at the feet of Jesus. Then should I grow more in grace, and increase in the knowledge of the Lord. The Lord is able to keep me from falling, and he will for he has promised never to leave one of his called children. Very day. Spoke to Mr. R. How can a child of God go there? Vanity of vanities, all is vanity. Forgive him, Lord, for so forgetting his high calling. He went to the fair. It's fair day. I, too, should be there. But for the grace of God, I have the seeds of all evil in my own heart. Pride is yet my darling sin. I cannot shake it off. Awake, O my Lord, against the mighty, for I shall die by his hand, if thou do not help me and lead me on to triumph. Leave me, ye vain thoughts. I have nothing but what I have received. It is the Lord's goodness that I even have my reason. How could I live without prayer when troubles come? How blessed to carry them to this throne. I will now say that the Lord hears prayer, for he hath removed from me that which I feared. But, oh, could I feel the presence of the Lord, as in days gone by, how joyful. Could I enjoy his face and feast upon his love, then would it be a sort of heaven below the skies. Yes, thou art mine, my Savior and my King. I am bound to thee by love, by thine own dying love, not mine. Fairest of beings, best beloved, come, let me yet see thy smiling face.